In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bridge crypto assets from one network and into another network using the MetaMask mobile app. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. There are a couple steps to bridging crypto from one network into another. First of all, you'll need to add the network to MetaMask that you wish to bridge into if you haven't done that already. You'll also need to add the token to MetaMask that you're bridging into. Some networks have token discovery and you can add them through a simple search, but some networks do not and you'll need to add the token manually. So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to get that done as well as how to bridge crypto from one network into another. So if you're already familiar with those steps, feel free to use the timestamps in the description down below to skip to a section that's most relevant to you. The first step to bridging crypto from one network into another is to choose the network that you wish to bridge the asset from. So to do that, you tap up here at the top, so in my case where it says Arbitrum 1. Then tap on the network that your crypto is in. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this in Arbitrum 1 here. Next, you'll need to add the network that you wish to bridge the crypto into. So to do that, we'll tap up here again where it says Arbitrum 1. And if you don't have the network already installed, you just come down here and tap on Add Network. Then MetaMask will be showing you a list of the popular networks that you can add to your wallet and simply tap on add next to the network that you wish to bridge your tokens into. So if I wanted Palm, I'd tap right here on add. Then I'd come down here and tap on approve to add this to my MetaMask wallet. But I already have a pile of networks here, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap here on cancel. Then I'm going to come up here and tap on this X. Once you add the network that you wish to bridge your crypto into, the next step is to add the token to that network. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate by bridging some USDC from Arbitrum Network and into the BNB Smart Chain. So I'm going to come up here, tap where it says Arbitrum 1, and then I'm going to tap on Binance Smart Chain right here. And now I need to add USDC to the Binance Smart Chain. And to do that, I'll tap right here on Import Tokens. And then I'm going to search for it right here in the search bar. So we'll go USDC. And I can already see a result right here. So I'll go ahead and just tap on that. And I'm going to tap on it again. Make sure it's highlighted in blue. And I'm going to come down here and tap on import. And as you can see, I just added the USDC token to the Binance network. Now, some of these networks don't have token discovery like Binance Chain. So you won't be able to just simply search for it. You'll have to manually import the token to that network. So for example, if I come back over here to Arbitrum, and tap right here on Arbitrum 1. You'll notice if I want to import a token by tapping right here, that I have to manually paste in that token's contract address for that network. And I'll quickly show you how to do this. So the easiest way to get the token's contract address is by going to a coin registry, such as CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. And I'll demonstrate with CoinGecko, so I'll bring that into frame. Now that I'm on CoinGecko, I can simply search for the token that I wish to add to the Arbitrum 1 network. Let's go ahead and do Chainlink. So I'll tap on Search and we'll search for Chainlink. I can already see a result right here, so I'll go ahead and tap on that. Now I'll scroll down the page, and you can see right down here under Info, it says Contract. And here's where you'll find all the different networks that the token is compatible with. And to see its contract address for those networks, you just tap right here on these three little dots. And of course, I'm looking for Arbitrum 1, and I can see that right here. So to copy Chainlink's contract address for the Arbitrum 1 network, I'd tap on these two little boxes next to Arbitrum 1. Now I've copied that to Clipboard, so I'll bring MetaMask back into frame. Now that I'm back on MetaMask, I can see up at the top here, I'm on the Arbitrum 1 network, and I'm going to paste Chainlink's contract address for the Arbitrum 1 network into this box right here, just like so. Now if I scroll down a little bit, you can see under token symbol that MetaMask has detected that this is link, which is the ticker symbol for Chainlink. Looks good to me, so I'm going to come down, tap here on import, and I'll tap on import one more time. And as you can see, I just added Chainlink to the Arbitrum 1 network inside of MetaMask. So if the network you're using doesn't have token discovery, that's how you can manually enter a token into your wallet. So now I'm ready to bridge some USDC tokens from Arbitrum 1 and into the Binance Smart Chain. So to do that, we'll tap right here on these two arrows. Then we'll tap here on Bridge. Then on this page here, we're going to connect our wallet by tapping right here on Connect Wallet. 
Then we'll tap here on Connect MetaMask. And we'll tap on Connect once again. And I'm just going to close this out by tapping on this X. Now I've connected the wallet to the MetaMask portfolio. So from here, we're going to come up and we're going to tap on these three little lines. Then we'll tap right here where it says Bridge. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap somewhere on the screen up here just to minimize that a bit. Now we can choose the network that we wish to bridge from. And we can do that by tapping on this box right here. Of course, I want the Arbitrum 1 network because that's where my USDC is. So that's perfectly fine. I'll leave it on that. Next, choose the token that you wish to bridge by tapping right here. And of course, in my case, that's USDC. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on USDC. Now I'm going to scroll this page down just a little bit further here. And in this box right here, it says enter amount. So you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So you can type in a custom amount if you wish, or you can just tap on max to bridge all of it. Then of course, I want to choose the network that I wish to bridge into by tapping right here. And of course, BNB chain works fine for me, so I'll leave it on that. But you'd tap on the network that you wish to send the tokens into. Then right here, it says you receive, tap on that and choose the token that you wish to receive for this bridge. And of course, I want to receive USDC. Now MetaMask is going to fetch a bridge that you can use for your transaction. Now MetaMask is a bridge aggregator, so it's going to scan multiple different bridges and it's going to fetch you the best quote. So in my case here, MetaMask is suggesting that I use the seller bridge. So I can see right here how much USDC I'll be receiving after this bridge is complete. And some of these networks are going to be less in fees than others. So always keep that in mind as well. If you're okay with the quote that MetaMask has fetched for you, you'd tap right here to approve the token. So I'll just go ahead and tap on approve token. And then I'm going to come down here, tap on next. And I'll go ahead and tap on approve. And you can see this transaction is submitted and is confirmed. So now what I can do is I can tap right here on confirm. And then I'm going to come down here and tap on confirm again. And now you can see that my USDC is being bridged into the BNB chain. And I'm just going to close this out because I've already used a bridge. And then I'm going to come back to my wallet by tapping on the wallet icon, bottom left hand side of the screen. And now when I come up here and tap where it says Arbitrum 1 and tap on BNB Smart Chain. And you can see right here that my USDC tokens have arrived in the BNB Smart Chain from the Arbitrum 1 network. And that took about a minute. And sometimes it can take a little bit longer or it can happen a little bit faster. But that's how you can use a bridge inside of MetaMask. And there you have it. That's how you can use a crypto bridge through the MetaMask mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other MetaMask tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.